Hello my Bilonian family, how are you all doing? Today's tutorial will be on this gele. So the gele I'm using is Asha OK and it's by Tiri Line. So I'll be creating like five pleats at that front there. I'll be creating like five pleats there. So this gele is very easy to tie, it's not something that is very hard. So please, if you have any question, you can just let me know at the comment section below. And please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page at Glam Beauty 30. Glam Beauty 30 makeover. So, so I'm extending the hand of the pleats now that I created at that front. So now I'll be going back now to cross the hand. So the ratio for this girl is 70 30. One hand has to be longer than the other hand. 70 30 ratio. So I'll be bringing this 70 part of the girl back to the front now. So that is what I'll be doing now. 70. I'll be bringing the 70 part back to the front now. like this i'm so sorry if you are hearing any background noise so i'm outside my house the heat inside is too much so i just have to come outside and make this voice note the heat is too too much there is no light so now i'm creating pleats i'm creating pleats so i'll be creating like three to four pleats before i start making fun So now I want to start making like my fan. So now I'm extending the pleats I created first. So now I'm start I'll start making the fan now. So I'll start making the fan like so. Let's look at the way I'm doing it. Now the linear family. So let me know if you have any question. Let me know. So now I'm extending the hand now. I'm extending it. Now create another fan. Extend it. Create fan. Extend it. So I'm trying to adjust the pleat that the fan I created now. So just look at the way I'm doing the fan. This process is very easy, sisters. So now I'll use office pen to like bring it down there now. Um, I want to extend the pleat for the file will now use office pen. I don't really remember maybe I use office pen or not. But I still continue creating the fan. So look at this. The fan is really coming out very nice. So that is it. So look at what I'll be doing to the rest and now. I my model to hold this down for me then. So yeah, this is the office pin I'll be using to pin it down there. Not the regular office pin, the ones that those tailor used to use. You can get it from tailor place or where they are selling material. You can get this office pin there. So that is the office pin I'm using. So I'm using it to hold the pleats that I gathered there. That is the fan I gathered there. I use it to hold it down there. So now I'm adjusting the pleats. So I'm still creating the 
Ryan Mufa. Still pretty Mufa. So please let me know if you have any question. So look at the way I'm packing the SS and now that is the remaining and I'm very sorry that my cloth is covering your sisters. Sorry for that. So look at the way I'm packing the rest and just as if I'm gathering plates. So I will join it to the rest one day. Tell my model to hold it down. If you are telling this girl only you cannot be tiny, you have to tell your client or your model to please to assist you to hold it. You can't be the only one doing the job, so you have to beg them to please to help you to hold it. So now this is the SS and I'm rolling now. So I'll be adding it with the tattoo part that I told you before. I'll be uh, tying it now. So this is the back. So that is the dirty part of the gilet. So I'll be tying it now. I'll be tying this now. Yeah. So I'm tying it now. If you are tiny, you have to tell your like your client or your model that is it tight enough so that you know when to stop tying it. So that is it. So that is it for the back. So now we're coming back to the front now to adjust it. the style you want to tie Just make sure if you are tying this girl, you have both office in. 
because you may not know when you will be needing the long coffee space in the shop.